morning, you guys. Happy graduation day one. We made it. It's finally happening. We are graduating today. Well, okay. Technically, I'm graduating tomorrow, but I have my first like commencement celebration this afternoon and I'm bringing you guys along for all of it. I am so excited. So if you guys are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Charlotte. I'm a senior at the University of Michigan. I'm graduating today and tomorrow. It's taking two days because the University of Michigan is quite a large school and there's a lot of people. So there's lots of different ceremonies happening. So the official commencement is the one that's happening tomorrow on Saturday. That is like the entire university like all of the class of 2023 goes to the big house the like football stadium and they have the big like four hour long celebration we all like turn our tassels like that's the big like traditional graduation ceremony that's tomorrow today we're having like a commencement ceremony for my major so if you didn't know i'm a communications major here at michigan so what's happening today is all of the communications majors that are graduating are going to have our own little like smaller celebration that's like just for comm majors i don't actually know like what is going to be happening at that celebration like they've given us very few details we are encouraged to wear caps and gowns and i think they're gonna like call our names and we're gonna rock walk across the stage but that's that's like basically all I know so I'm bringing you guys along my family is also getting into town their flight landed a little while ago it's about 9 30 in the morning right now they are like making their way over to my apartment from the airport so we will be seeing them very soon but the celebration is at noon like I said it's about 9 30 so I'm going to start getting ready and then they are going to meet me here in typical Charlotte Pratt big event fashion can anyone guess what's happening right now it's pouring rain of course it is. It would. <laughs> if you guys have been here um, since the beginning of senior year, you might remember that it poured rain on my very first day of senior year ever. So I feel like it's only fitting that it's pouring rain during graduation. <laughs> Fortunately though, it's supposed to rain today and it's like waffling back and forth on whether or not it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And right now it's looking like it's not supposed to rain tomorrow. And tomorrow, like Tomorrow's the important one. This one is important, but like, it's not the big one. Like it's not graduation. So if it had to rain on one of the days, I'm glad it was this day instead of tomorrow. Anyway, you guys saw in the very beginning, I've got my cap and gown and my dress right there. And I decorated my cap. Although I'm not even sure that I'm going to wear my dress today because it's raining and I don't want it to get ruined. I might just wear something like I don't know, business casual, but not a dress. It's also cold and I my, dr my dress is like spaghetti straps and I don't wanna be freezing my butt off while I'm sitting there in the rain. So my friend Carly and I are going to this, like she's also a communications major. We're gonna meet there. We're gonna like hopefully sit together because I really don't know anyone else in the comm department. So I was like, oh my God, Carly, like we need to be like attached to the hip this entire ceremony because I don't know anyone else. So she suggested wearing like khakis and a like a white button down. So I might try that and see how it looks. I have, fortunately, I spent like four hours ironing clothes yesterday and I ended up ironing this little like white button down shirt which is really cutie so I feel like I'm probably gonna end up wearing this shirt and then I also have these khaki pants that I bought like two years ago at this point and they still have the tag on them because I've never worn them so we might be busting these out I might see how this looks this is like very non-charlotte attire like i'm a dress person but i don't want to be freezing cold you know so that is the outfit that i'm like sort of envisioning if it looks horrible i might just wear the dress <laughs> but we'll have to see first though i'm going to do my makeup so i don't get anything all over my graduation clothes i'm gonna do my makeup now we'll do a quick little get ready with me y'all i genuinely cannot believe that graduation is already here like the month of april flew by so fast like i usually feel pretty prepared for new months when they come and i'm so like i feel like april just started and it's about to be may i filmed my may reset vlog yesterday to get ahead of the game a little bit because i'm going to be traveling in the first week of may like when it actually happens so i wanted to get ahead on some videos so i don't have to like stress about like posting or editing or anything while I'm on my trip. My roommates, Morgan and Rose and I are treating ourselves to a little Disney trip as a graduation present. And I am so excited. I'm gonna be vlogging the entire thing, so fear not. But we are doing 
four days in Disney and then one day in Universal. I am so excited. I haven't been to Disney since I was a child like a small little little baby to the point where like I don't even remember the last time that I was in Disney like I don't have any memory of it at all so we're like planning out our trip we're leaving like a couple of days after graduation so we're leaving oh my god that's wild we're leaving like in the next couple days I keep thinking of graduation as like this thing that's like out in the future that's like not actually happening anytime soon and like it's happening today so that is just insane but I am so beyond excited like i cannot wait we've been planning this trip since like january i think but that is happening after graduation we have to actually graduate first tomorrow our ceremony is at eight o'clock in the morning not like have to wake up at eight o'clock in the morning like the ceremony starts we start walking like the graduates start walking into the stadium at eight o'clock in the morning. I don't know why on earth they decided to make it that early. I don't know what they're trying to prove. I'm like, we definitely could have gone for like a 2 p.m. thing, but hey, I'm not in charge. So I just get the emails about when to show up and I show up. <laughs> I definitely didn't take all my mascara off my bottom lashes yesterday. Whoops. We've got a little bit of a like dark under eye shadow going on, but it's fine. I didn't like practice any like specific look that i want to do for graduation because i think i just wanted to be like very neutral kind of like I, re I mean i really only know one look like how to do one thing so it's kind of okay i didn't practice because every time i've done it before is kind of like practice but tomorrow we will be doing this all again um at like six o'clock in the morning because we need to be at the stadium by eight so we need to leave here at like 7 30 because we don't know how bad the traffic is gonna be like we need to be there on time and like i don't always function the best like under stress so we want to just make it like as stress-free as humanly possible and we're gonna do that by being ahead of schedule and if you've been here for any of my like college days and weeks in my life you know that sometimes i struggle with that um, because I'm like chronically running just like a couple like two or three minutes behind But we are not going to let that happen tomorrow. I'm literally gonna wake up at 4 30 in the morning I think I mentioned already, but if you guys didn't know i'm a transfer student So I have only been here at michigan for two years transferred in as a junior So I haven't had like the four-year college experience like some people have but in a lot of ways I feel like i'm more excited to graduate because i'm a transfer student than I would be otherwise because like I had to work so hard to make sure that I was like on track to graduate and that like all of my credits transferred and all of that kind of stuff. Like if you guys have been here throughout, like you have seen the saga that's played out over the last two years. Like it has been quite the adventure trying to like register for classes and like make sure I can take all the classes that I need to take and like all of that stuff. So graduating like means a great deal to me because it means like all of that work paid off. Okay, we've also got the like sisters not twins vibe going on with the eyebrows right now that I'm not loving, but like I'm also not gonna stress about. I think for this one, because it's the less important ceremony, I feel like I shouldn't like refer to it like that because it's still important, but like because it's not the big one, I'll say, and because it's pouring rain. I'm not gonna do like as big of a makeup look for this one. I think I'm just gonna do like something even more subtle than what I'm planning on doing tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna do like bronzer and highlighter on my eyelids. I though, okay, I've been looking forward to graduation, kind of like picking up where we were just talking about. I've been looking forward to graduation since this time last year. So two of the people that are coming as my little guests are my brother and his girlfriend Kerrigan. They have not been on the vlog in quite a while, but they've been on the vlog before. And both of them graduated from their colleges last year and I went to, I wasn't able to go to Kerrigan's graduation, but I was able to go to my brother's graduation. And it was so like cool and emotional. And I was like, oh my God, like, wow, this is it. So ever since then, I've been looking forward to my own graduation and 
you guys know like I did a couple game day vlogs in the past two years like it's in the football stadium and I love the football stadium we call it the big house I absolutely love it it's one of my favorite places on campus and it's just like so cool that it's gonna be there okay that is the little like subtle eye look that I'm doing obviously I have to do mascara but we're literally just doing bronzer and highlighter and it's just a little bit I also I'm gonna try to drink approximately seven bottles of water today because my lips are feeling so chapped oh I think that was too much blush it's not like blending whatever it'll probably come off in the rain anyway so what can you do i really thought that would take me longer i started getting ready like super early because again not not want to feel rushed so it's 10 a.m right now i'm like chilling this is the way that i need to be going forward it's better to be ready an hour early than it is to be running late at the very last second i'm using this is the elf setting spray from target it's so good now for the moment of truth we're gonna do Mascara and try not to screw everything up. You guys, I was filming like TikToks this morning because I have a couple like graduation TikTok ideas. It's really just one. I wanna do like a transition between like, oh, what I look like regularly and then transition like into my cap and gown. And it's that one that's like, it's time for your next adventure. And he's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. And then it's like Robin Williams talking. And he's like, how exciting. And I was making them this morning quite literally sobbing like in shambles trying to make this tiktok i was like i have no idea how i'm gonna make it through any emotional thing for my entire life because i just sob so easily at like emotional like quotes or like sad like emotional songs like i just start crying <laughs> so i'm really glad that i filmed like before clips for that transition before i did my makeup because Otherwise, it could have been bad for everyone involved. There we go. That is the little finished look for today. I honestly might do, I'm probably gonna do something like very, very similar for tomorrow. It's just gonna be like a little bit more on the eyelids. I wanted to do the get ready with me today because the odds that I do a get ready with me tomorrow morning are like slim to none because it's gonna be so early and I wanna focus on just like getting ready because I really don't wanna be running late tomorrow. Now all there's left to do is I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I think I'm just gonna leave it down. My hair and I have beef, we all know this, and the more that I try to fuss with it most of the time, the more angry I get. So I have some time to mess around with my hair if I want to. I have my like shark flex style, so I might try to do like a faux blowout. Like my hair is clean and dry, so I might just like do the auto wrap curlers and see if that does anything. But then again, it is pouring rain and whatever I do is just gonna fall out immediately so I'd rather just like save myself the trouble I will figure it out I'm gonna put on my little like non-dress outfit and see if I look stupid and if I do we'll have time to change into something else okay here's the look <laughs> it's fine if I were going to like work or like a business casual dinner it just doesn't feel graduation e. These pants are also like mid-rise and I forgot that and I'm so used to wearing my pants like up here that these just feel very like I don't like them. I feel like I look like a door. <laughs> so we have a couple other options that we can try out. Number one is to wear the dress that I'm planning on wearing tomorrow. This is option number two. I don't really like this dress but that's kind of good because then it doesn't matter if it gets like wet and ruined in the rain because I'm not gonna wear it again for graduation. Option number three is this other white dress that I would need to bust out the iron for. I really like this dress. I think it's really pretty, but it doesn't really solve any of my problems. Like it's still a dress, so I'm still gonna freeze my butt off. And it's got like big puffy sleeves, so I don't know if I would look like silly under my gown, if I would look like a linebacker or something. I definitely like this one better than that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna iron this one really quickly and throw this on. All right, this is the second dress. Um, this is not happening. It's pretty, it's really pretty when I just stand here, but it's not super functional. I can't like, I'm not very mobile and I'm still gonna be freezing. <laughs> Plus, this is what I was worried about. This is why I end up getting another dress for my actual ceremony tomorrow anyway, is the sleeves are just gonna look weird underneath my gown. So we're moving on to 
Plan C. I texted my friend Carly. She's wearing um, a sweater and a skirt, like a sweater and a long skirt, I think she said. Yeah, she said, I'm wearing a sweater and a long white skirt. Um, so this is option C, is a little white sweater and then some type of bottom. I don't really have a long skirt. I only really have pants. But at the same time, my legs never really get cold. So I might, I could just wear a regular length skirt. I have this little like houndstooth tweed skirt. Could be fun. So I'm going to, I'm going to try on option C. Okay. This is option C. I'm feeling like this is my best bet. I don't love it, um, but I don't hate it either. And I'm going to be wearing my gown anyway, so it's fine. I have to say though, not knowing what to wear to my college graduation was not on my 2023 bingo card. At this point, we're just gonna have to go with it. These are my options. You know, thank God I had my makeup done early. <laughs> okay, final outfit. We are going with white sweater and then these black pants because my family just got here and they said that it is freezing and miserable outside. <laughs> so. I am covered up as much as I can to try and stay warm. The ceremony is only an hour long. I think it's probably gonna be less than an hour. This is what we're going with and then I'm gonna put my gown on as well. I guess I can put that on now because we do need to leave pretty soon. It takes about five minutes to walk there and they asked us not to get there before 11.45 because there's a ceremony, same thing that's happening from 11 to 12 and then I have the 12 to one slot. So we'll be leaving soon but i wanted to show you guys we found a solution for my cap one of my roommate's friends had a plastic shower cap that i just put on top so you can still see the decoration and everything and then i just like taped the edges down so it would be like watertight and then i taped my tassel on the top because this isn't the one that i'll be wearing tomorrow for like the big ceremony so it's fine so we have a solution i'm gonna put this on so my cap won't be absolutely ruined before tomorrow <laughs> there we go this is so wild i cannot believe that this is happening okay here's the full look hopefully it doesn't get absolutely ruined before the ceremony tomorrow i'm going to grab my umbrella grab my family and we are gonna head out to my first graduation ceremony <laughs> day one we are done my first ceremony it went so well this afternoon even though it was pouring down rain the shower cap method over the graduation cap worked phenomenal it worked so well and fortunately as of right now it's like 11 30 on friday as of right now it's not supposed to rain again tomorrow so it's just supposed to be like cloudy but i don't think it's actually supposed to rain which is so nice but after the ceremony my family and i went out to get pizza for lunch there's this pizza place in ann arbor that my brother and my dad and honestly all of us like really love so we went and got pizza it was our own little like private celebration it was actually super fun then we went to the m den and i got some like alumni merch and then we went to where else did we go we were just kind of like out and about around campus and then we went and we checked in to the hotel and then we had dinner at the cheesecake factory which was an hour away <laughs> so i did force my entire family to drive for an hour <laughs> to go get the cheesecake factory but it was worth it it was so good and now we're back it's like 11 30 i am going to wake up at about 5 30 in the morning tomorrow actually you know what i'm gonna wake up at five tomorrow just to have that extra half an hour to like 
if I'm ready early, I can make TikToks or something. But we are leaving the apartment at 7.15 in the morning, which like may be overkill, but I would rather for once in my life, I would rather be there early than anything else. So I'm gonna wake up at like 5.30. We, Morgan, Rose, and I are going to do our makeup together out in the living room. It's gonna be so cutie and fun. We are going to get dressed. I took a shower tonight. I just finished blow drying it because I didn't wanna sleep on it wet. So I did do like a blowout sort of, it's just straight. Um, and then I will have time in the morning to curl it if I want to, but we'll see. I honestly kind of like it straight, especially when I'm wearing a cap. So I may just leave it. We'll have time to do the hair, do the makeup, get dressed, film some emotional TikToks, and then leave here at 7.15 ish. So that is it for tonight. We made it through graduation day one. I will see you guys very bright and early in the morning. Good morning, it's graduation day. Good morning, you guys. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I just got up and I went and I got some breakfast from the 7-Eleven that's like near my building. It's still dark outside. <laughs> and it's time for me to start getting ready for graduation. I am so excited. Um, we're not gonna do too much. I think I decided I am gonna leave my hair just like down the way it is. We are also going to do my makeup and then we have the cap and gown and the little dress hanging in the closet. So all there is to do is to actually get ready. I'm so excited. I'm just going to montage what I can and then I will show you guys the whole outfit right before we leave. I'm stepping away. I cannot believe it. It is 7.04 right now, so we're heading out in about 10 minutes. Major appreciation for me being early, completely ready to walk out the door 10 minutes early. This has almost never happened to me. Let me show you guys the outfit really quick. Here we go, this is my little white dress. This is the one that I've had dry clean that I've been like waiting to use today. This is from Lucy in the Sky. I will link it down below if anyone is interested in twinning. It's actually really comfortable and it fits really well. I would recommend if you're gonna get this though, size up because it's like a little bit bodycon in the back and it tends to ride up a little bit. I decided just to leave my hair down and straight the way it is. I did just some nice like neutral little makeup, which on camera it looks very like glowy and it looks a little bit more like formal on camera than it is in person. I'm doing my gold jewelry. I'm gonna put some bracelets on, I think too, just to kind of like spice it up a little. And then we'll put on the cap and gown. I'm actually, I'm gonna put them on right now. Here we are in the cap and gown, the heels, the dress, the makeup. I cannot believe that this is happening and we're going over and we're gonna graduate today. You know what? I worked too hard on my makeup to be crying, so. We're not gonna cry. Here is the full outfit with the cap, the gown, the stoles, the cords, all of it, all together. So I'm going to finish filming my transition TikToks into my cap and gown, and then we are going to head out and go to the big house and graduate college.
Many of you started your career here at U of M in the fall of 2019 or the summer of 2019, which is when I began as the Dean of LSA. And to the class of 2023, on behalf of the faculty in the College of Literature, Science, and the Arts, it has been an honor to work with you and I'm here to say congratulations. But your families and friends, they've come right alongside. They've been with you at every step. They've celebrated with you on the day you were accepted at the University of Michigan. Let's hear it for them. You will depart having earned your degrees at one of the world's most exceptional and influential universities. As they say at this house, the greatest university in the world, don't you agree? We are so proud of your achievement. We are so confident in your success. And we so look forward to seeing how you will shape and transform our world. Congratulations again from all of us. Go Blue! graduated college. So it's a couple of days later. The ceremony was on Saturday and today is Monday for me. My family went home on Sunday night so they left a little while ago and I am officially done with college and done with school. I'm like officially a big girl now. It is so surreal. It's insane. I am so excited to go back and edit this video like seeing all the footage. I was able to get such good footage from the actual ceremony. Somehow, Morgan and Rose and I scored front row seats. Like, I don't even know how it happened, but we ended up sitting in the very front row. And my parents ended up having seats like right, right near us. So it was like, we are sitting here and they were sitting in the seats like right here. So we could see them the whole time. They could see us the whole time. It was just so special and so, it was just like the perfect ceremony. Like it was so, so great. You guys could see probably in the montage clips, um, it rained a little bit. It did end up raining just like a tiny, tiny amount. It was like cloudy and then it rained and we were freezing. We were so cold. But then when it was actually time for them to announce all of us, the sun came out and started shining and it was so warm and so pretty and it was just like the best ceremony. Like it was the best morning ever. I posted like a super emotional TikTok about graduating and it has over 260,000 views right now, which is so wild. But all the comments on that TikTok are like people saying like they're about to graduate too or they're, you know, starting their journey or they know people that are graduating. So I know that it's a very like emotional topic for a lot of people, myself included. Y'all believe me, if you saw my last week in my classes vlog, you know, I was an emotional wreck. But when it actually like came down to it and the ceremony happened, like I was just so happy that I wasn't 
sad like at all, which was really nice. I was nervous that I was gonna be like just a wreck but I was okay. <laughs> but that is gonna do it for this vlog, you guys. We graduated college, I'm all done with school. I, that is it for the college content. I do have one more special video coming very soon, right? It's gonna be the video directly after this one. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I'm really excited to make it. And then my roommates and I are going to Disney as our graduation gift to ourselves and I'm vlogging the Disney trip as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you join the family. I can't thank you guys enough for coming along with me the last three years and supporting me and supporting my channel and being the best community ever. You guys are the reason that I love vlogging so much and I love posting these videos for you. It's just so special for me to have such amazing, such an amazing community. So thank you guys for everything. Post-grad Q&A is coming very soon. I will have answers to all of your questions about what is coming next for me. But as I've said in the last number of vlogs, rest assured, I will be continuing to vlog no matter what I end up doing. So vlogs will still be happening. I'm still going to be around and I'm still going to be very active on all my social media platforms. I cannot wait to see what the future brings. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you again for coming along with me on my college journey. It was the ride of a lifetime. This has been just such a special time in my life and I'm just so grateful that I have it all documented and I have it all recorded so I can come back and relive any of these experiences whenever I want to. I'm definitely going to miss the college vlogs, but I'm way more excited for everything that's coming very very soon and for the rest of the foreseeable future so i can't wait i hope you guys are excited and i'll see you in the next one so let us dance this night away